How much easier would your life be if you had a all-in-one centralized tool that would handle all of your marketing needs. If you agree that your life would be easier, let me introduce VBelt. VBelt is a top-ranked marketing automation software that handles powerful automation, lead management, email marketing, landing page creation, social media management, pipeline management, and it integrates with all of your favorite apps like Salesforce or HubSpot or Zapier. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about VBelt. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to respond within 24 hours. And I'll also leave a special discounted link that I'll keep updated so you always get your money's worth. Here we are inside VBelt. So we're going to get started with the dashboard, which is completely customizable. And if you look closely, you have a widget that says getting started. This will guide you through every single step to start using this software effectively. And if you've watched any of my previous reviews, you know I love it when softwares guide you through the process. Now you can rename all of these widgets at will just by clicking the gear icon. You can stretch them out or make them 50-50. You can also move everything around just by dragging it. And if you're one of those people who likes going full screen, click this square icon and now you've got a full screen dashboard. So if you're doing a presentation, or you're going through with your staff, this is the perfect option for you. You can also share this dashboard or export it to a PDF or image file. This is how it will look if you share the dashboard. This could be really handy if you're sharing with other staff members or clients. If you want to create a new widget, click the new widget button, and then you can add all of these widgets to the dashboard. Or if you want different dashboards, or if you want a different dashboard for each of your departments, go ahead and click new dashboard, and then you can title it something like, let's say admin, or marketing, do submit, and then you can just drag each of these widgets or the widgets that you want into the dashboard. Click switch dashboard, and then you can start navigating between the dashboard. We're gonna stay in the sample dashboard for now. As you complete each step VBelt is recommending, it will start ticking each task, so you know you've done it and completed it. Let's move on to emails. There's a wide range of options inside the email tab, but let's start off with the top navigation, which is campaigns, email templates, and file manager. Campaigns is where you would create your actual campaigns and run different projects that you are wanting to do at the time. An example of that is, let's say one day is a newsletter, the next day is a commercial email, the next day is an announcement, etc. To create a campaign, go ahead and click create campaign fill out the details, select what type of campaign. You can do a regular campaign or a split test campaign, also known as AB campaign. A split test campaign is it allows companies to see if a subject line will perform better or if a message will perform better. So it basically sends 50% to audience A and 50% to audience B and see which ones get, let's say the highest open rates or click-through rate. For the sake of this video, we're just going to stick with regular campaign. And then you've also got the process options. So normal sending is just a quick, normal, vanilla email send, just like what, what we're used to. Then you've got chunk sending, which is sending your campaign in smaller batches, which helps optimize your deliverability and keeps the ISPs nice and happy. Then you've got predictive sending, which is sending your campaign when your audience are more likely to open. In other words, in other words, it uses data from past campaigns and it will decide which specific audience, which email is most likely to open at specific times from previous open rate. Then you just fill out your subject line, your pre-header and all the other information. You would go ahead and choose a list. You can create your own list, but we're just going to stick to this for now and do now. And then you can select any of the standard themes. If you have your own templates, you can store them there. Use templates that you've used in previous campaigns and even import your own HTML and CSS templates or use their default basic editor. They also have a new visual builder, but we'll get into that a little down the line. We're going to go ahead and use this one. It pre-populates and just like most web builders, you can drag and drop all the different elements they offer straight in here click on a button and then you can start editing it at will. There's tons of flexibility when editing these email templates. You can customize all of the paddings and margins and width and basically anything you, you can be as creative as you want. For an additional add-on, they also have an AI content assistant which uses AI to generate email copy. You can then do an inbox preview and select what applications you want to see it on. So for example, let's try iPad Retina 
and do some requests. And this is how it all looks. Although we briefly covered the email templates, inside the email template tab, this is where you can create your own templates. So let's go ahead and do create new template. And very simply, you'll drag in the element and just keep building it out like that. When you're done, save and exit. And now you have that completed template which you can preview, public preview, which is you can share a link to anyone else and use in your future project. The file manager is where you can upload all of your images. And what's nice about this is they've also integrated third-party libraries. So you can grab loads of stock photos, icons, and e-com. You can also design straight from Canva, which is a nice touch because Canva have tons of free great and well thought out design. Moving on to the automation side of things, this is where you can apply conditional logic or triggers or basically all the tedious repetitive tasks that you don't like doing, you can automate here. Now to get started, you can click create automation. And if you're unsure what all of this means, go ahead and click the sample automation and it's pre-populated and it's pre-populated what an automation should look like. So for an example, when someone joins the sample list, wait one minute and then send an email. So if we were to create this, the way we would do it is we would simply drag in the joined widget, double click it, give it the criteria. So we would say when someone joins sample list or you can create your own email list, you want to target all active contacts or active contacts who meet the criteria here and you can add as many rules as you want and then decide how this is going to be triggered. Then you would pick an action. So the action here is going to be delay. Then we'll join the two together. And now you can see the arrows there, double select delay and decide how long you want to wait and do save. And then we add as many actions as we want. So we will just drag the send email, drag an arrow to it. So we know the order, double click, select the email and just do save. And now that's going to be active. We do save, exit. And then if we want to activate that, we would just select that and that's been activated. And then over time, what will happen is the more this is activated, you'll get all of the analytics so you can make accurate decisions on what to do next in your overall business. Moving on to the social side of things, this is where you'll connect your social media profiles. So I'm going to click on streams and I've connected my Marty England uh, Facebook page. I don't tend to use this Facebook page for much, but I just have automated things things where when I post on YouTube, it automatically gets uh, posted onto Facebook. But what this does is you can manage everything to do with your social media accounts. So if you have more than one Facebook page, you can connect them here and to connect them, you'll just do add a new account. Let's say you wanted to automate a post to go out tomorrow. Go ahead and click compose, add a message in. You can even design things on Canva and it's got a quick shortcut to say what style post you want to design for. You can add your own media, your own links, and then you can preview. You can then select this little arrow and decide if you want to post it now, schedule now, or custom posting. I'm going to do schedule and let's say we'll do it for tomorrow, PM this, and then do schedule. And now you can see that's going to be sent out tomorrow. When you get notifications, they'll show up right here. Moving on to the streams, you can add specific streams for specific actions. So for example, we have my newsfeed here, but let's say I wanted to add all of my direct messages. I'm going to leave that blank for now because it, uh, I've got private messages in there, but let's go ahead and do tag posts. So we'll just do that. And then you can see we, I got tagged in this one and you can see all the comments. You can click down and you can basically add a different stream for everything here. That's actually really useful because it means you can do everything from one spot. Next, you have the analytics. And this basically syncs all of the data from your social media channels in a centralized area and reformats it like this. It'll even tell you which of your posts are performing best. Now, I always control all of my own link shorteners. If you want to use VBout's link shortener, then once you start using that, it'll start populating with how many people are clicking on that specific link. Next, we have our contacts. This is where we create our lists. We score the leads. We add goals and we review our audiences. First things first, let's go ahead and create a contact. You'll just put in the contact name. So hello at gmail.com, select a list and then do add contact. You can manage the leads in multiple ways like lead assigning, et cetera, et cetera. But let's go ahead and create a new audience. And the way this works is it will create an audience based on certain criteria. So for example, if they've got a lead score, which is uh, greater than let's say zero, then they can go into group test one, or let's add a no another criteria and say that if they clicked a specific link, so let's say if they clicked then they would be added to 
this specific audience. This is super useful for really hammering down your targeting and you can create some really fancy campaigns doing this. This is where you manage all of your lists. You can mass import, export, merge lists and do all of that stuff. You can also create your own forms and it will sync directly into your list, which means that you don't really need to be creating landing pages if you don't want to be. So if you go into form settings, this is where you can start creating your list and they've even got a form builder where you can, again, drag and drop fields in like so. You can then embed this wherever you want using their Lite.js, their Lite JavaScript code, their HTML code, or an API integration. The lead scoring is where each lead will be scored. So this helps you know which leads are qualified or not qualified or not interacting, etc. You can create goals, which are essential to your KPIs. So the way this works is you'll create goal button, add your domain, and let's say every person that visits my homepage, you can attach a value, so how much that is worth to you, or you can add variables but this is a bit more advanced, so we're just going to stick to fixed. And then if it contains or starts with or matches exactly, then it will start assigning those figures to each of your leads. And there you have it. Once you click on analytics, it'll start showing you all of that important analytics that we often forget about. Finally, the landing page side of things. So you can either create custom landing pages inside VBelt or you can create pop-ups for your own websites. I'm going to show you both. Go ahead and click create a landing page. And this is where you'll configure all of your main things like your SEO, your domain settings, etc. They also use a subdomain for you if you don't have your own domain. And you can also edit the end of that domain if you choose. If you do have your own domain, click on domain settings and you can add your own domains here. You can add all your tracking and your cookie compliance as well. You'll have two options. You can design from scratch or you can choose a template. I'm going to show you both of these from the choose a template section because designing from scratch is no different than just dragging the elements in. You'll see what I mean. Click choose a template and then you can decide which template you want to use. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Just drag it in and now you have a full blown landing page ready to be utilized. And to show you what I mean, Previously, when I said uh, the design from scratch is the same, go ahead and click design elements. And now you can start adding all of these different elements into the website. So for example, drag RSS feed, and there we have an RSS feed, and you will just build it out with the blocks. Now, if you want to edit templates or anything on those lines, click each element, and then you can start customizing it and changing the wording, the forms, etc. And if you want to preview it, click the preview button. And now you have your website looking good. Do save and confirm. Another cool thing about this is that, again, it tracks all the visitors and all the conversions. So go ahead and click analytic and it will tell you all of the analytics of what's been going on, which means you don't even need to integrate your own analytics because it does it all for you. Creating a pop up is just as easy. Click create pop up. Give it a name, choose what sort of trigger. If you hover over this little eye icon, it tells you which each trigger does, but the names of the triggers are pretty self-explanatory. Choose your domain. Decide what sort of pop-up you want. I'm gonna go with subscription form and then do next. Just like the email automation that we went through previously, select all of your actions, filter between devices. If you're doing PPC, you can use a referral network filter and as well eliminate data or traffic that you don't want from different countries and then do next. You'll then style the pop-up and if you want to do split testing, you can and decide how many pop-ups you'd like to split test. Do save pop-up and then you'll just do save pop-up. So what do I think of VBelt? Overall, I think VBelt is a fantastic all-in-one marketing solution for a business. It has all of the main components that a business would need, such as email marketing, it's got messaging features, it's got landing page builders, quick form builders, and analytic tracking, not to mention the, the core foundation of the CRM software, which is being able to manage all of the leads that come into your business. The truth is, is that VBelt can be expanded so much more just by the fact that they let you integrate with Zapier, meaning you can bring in anything you want to the platform and enhance it tenfold. Unbelievably fast to use, meaning that you don't need to worry about lagging behavior or anything of the sort because it's pretty fast. It's really good that you can create different dashboards and customize each dashboard to match whatever department you want or whatever sort of information you want to display. It's good that they give you that full control of that. I would like to see a few more automation triggers inside of the email uh, automation section, 
but overall it actually does more other automation email marketing platforms do. So that's a big win anyway. And that concludes our V-Belt review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.